I would suggest put the video to full screen or just play the sound without looking on the screen. Why or what prompted to me for, for this input is that a friend of mine, Ajahn Subaru, told me that he actually don't want his Dhamma talks to be on YouTube at all because of all the distractions that are there in the advertisement, moving pictures and what to watch next. And it's true. And it's the same with Facebook. I noticed it when I'm listening, watching Dhamma talks on YouTube. The mind just get distracted. Every time there is something that the mind finds boring or it's tired, just goes somewhere and start looking what 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 next so this is a concern we want to put our full attention to the dhamma when listening to the dhamma i realized i don't want to restrict the dhamma just to some backwaters of internet just the secret circle of true believers would find it i want it to be available for everyone to benefit from. And it's as the Buddha said, there are beings with little dust in their eyes and they will see. So it's just a question how to be skillful, how to help people to be able to be skillful. And that's when I find it useful to one dedicated time, not just watching it because I have now five minutes before the meeting or, you know, being bored, wanting so dedicate time for listening, watching the Dhamma. And then to get rid of the distractions, to have the full, full attention, it's easy. Both Facebook, YouTube, I think all of the platforms have the ability to put the video to full screen and then you have just the video and no none of the distractions. This is great. Or since the Dhamma talks anyway it doesn't have much of visual content, it's usually just talking head like right me now, right? Then you can just listen to the sound, go to your meditation room, sit on your cushion and put the notebook actually behind you and just buy the sound or if it's possible download it, you can listen to it without a computer and have it as a meditation practice. Can I keep my mind with the Dhamma talk? Mindfulness, Samadhi, just, ah, what will be tomorrow? Back to Dhamma talk. Keep, keep with it. Train the mind, the stability and the mindfulness, and at the same time, listen to the Dhamma talk. So that's like three tips I would have for how to use this distracting platform in a skillful way for getting the Dhamma. I hope you would find it beneficial, helpful. If not, feel free to just leave it behind. And you will.